Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Calendly with Gmail. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at Calendly.com or log into uh, already existing Calendly account. Once we are at our workspace here, we want to go to integrations and we want to check if we can find Gmail between already implemented integrations. But as you can see, there's no option to straight away integrate Calendly with Gmail. So we're going to need the help of third-party app. Uh, I've decided to use automate.io, which is a very, a very easy to work with app. And I'll leave the link in the descriptions underneath this video. Once we are at automate, we want to go to integrations. And once we click on integrations, we want to go to the bottom left part and click on see all categories. We want to start with writing down Calendly as a first app to be integrated. Right now, once we click on Calendly, we want to go and pick its opposite side or its counterpart, which will be Gmail. Straight away, Automate is providing us with some popular integrations that we can pick from, like send email in Gmail on a new event in Calendly and so on. But if you won't be able to find the one that we are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath uh, the triggers, we want to start with Calendly with those two options. So let's go with a new event, for example. And on the opposite side, uh, we have to go with uh, actions. So there's uh, tons of actions from Gmail to pick from. So let's go with send email. All we have to do now is click on try it now button so we can register or log into our existing account. And that's about it. We can also use zapier.com, which is a very similar app to automate, but some people prefer automate, some people prefer Zapier. So I'm going to show you the both, uh, both apps. Once we are at Zapier, we want to go to the top left corner and click on Create Zap. We also have to start with Calendly as our trigger app. We have to manually pick Trigger Event. Now we have to log in to Calendly. We hit Continue. And now we can test the trigger between Calendly and Zapier itself. On the second action, uh, we want to start with uh, writing down Gmail, as you probably thought. Also, tons of options for uh, actions in Gmail. Continue. And the last thing is we have to log into our Gmail account. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.